Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kakwadash, the Bwana said the apostles and the elders great millstone, and Shalom to like I've dead, doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. <clears throat> all right, and I just want to get into a quick lesson uh, based upon the precept right here in the book of uh, Amos. And this is uh, Amos <clears throat> 3 and 1, and it reads, Hear this word, hear, the, hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, <clears throat> saying, You <clears throat> you only have I known <clears throat> of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. And you know, just touching on this uh really briefly. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> you know, especially, you know, you uh, <clears throat> Gentiles, you know, you other nations that are not Israelites who don't pertain to the Lord. You feel as though that the Lord is for everybody. Well, that's the perception that the so-called white man has presented you with. But that is far from the case. <clears throat> that is clearly far from the case when you look at all of the evidence, when you look at all of the facts. That's why we are chastised. That's why we are punished. That's why we are in the worst conditions ever. All right? That's what's going on with us. That's why y'all are benefiting. That's why y'all are on top. You know? It's not because we are being punished by the Lord. No one else. So this just goes to prove that alone in itself amongst the hundreds and thousands of other examples and different things that we could pull out to to uh, to substantiate our cases, us being who we is like and who the Lord is dealing with, all right? It's not good. <clears throat> all right, uh, going on, it says, um, verse 3, can two walk together except they be agreed? No, they can't. <clears throat> no, they can't. The lowly Lord clearly makes a distinction with that, with everything within the society, all right? And we can clearly see it, okay? Uh, verse 4, will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will the young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall? <clears throat> like, can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth? Where no gin is for him, where no trap is for him, shall one take up a snare from the earth and have taken nothing at all? <clears throat> shall the trumpet be blown in the city, and shall the people and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city, and the Lord have not done it? So the Lord is like, yo, I'm setting you up. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is like, I'm setting you up. Whenever anything happens within the city and and especially right now pertaining to, you know, the corona and, and, and you know, this mass hysteria and everything like that, because right now this is, the, you know, the hot topic. So we can't harp on this enough because, you know, it's always going to be some updates and different things like that. So knowing that, knowing that <clears throat> what the Lord is setting people up, the Lord is like, you know, like I'm the one who's doing this. I created this. For you, the way you are and everything that's going on, I put this in play. That's what the Lord is, is letting people know, is that I put this in play. <laughs> you know, the Lord is putting it right there out on Front Street. I put this in play. What are, what are you going to do about it? I put this in play. There's nothing that you can do about it. Nothing whatsoever. Because this is my program. This is how I designed it. This is how I'm manufacturing these things to happen. Whether you like it or not, it's going down. You know, and the same people that will want to, you know, praise the Lord for this. They don't know that the Lord is actually causing this upon them. But if they truly did, they would feel like, well, why are you doing this? And they will be wanting to, to curse the Lord. That's what they will be wanting to do. You know, the scriptures talk about that in Isaiah 8 and 21. It says, then shall they, uh, paraphrasing, that's pretty accurate. Uh, then shall they look up to that maker, hardly but stead and hungry and, and, uh, and they shall fret themselves and curse their God, their king, you know? 
So when people in them situations of despair, morals, logic, these various things, they go, they go out of the window, man. The Lord, the Lord is clearly telling you, like, yo, the warning signs is there. The evil that's in the city and all this. Have I not done it? The Lord is like, I've done this. This is my handiwork. Everything that's coming to pass, it is because of me. I put this into play. Because it's about that time for me to uh for me to have my, my son to come back upon the earth. That's how the Lord is on it, man. You know? That is how the Lord is on it. So all of these plagues and different things and people, you know, uh, you know, have their uh particular opinions, you know, believing within the society. But yo, it's the Lord that's causing, it's the Lord that's allowing Esau to do these things to be able to take themselves out of power, man. That is what why the Lord is allowing them to do these things for to, to take themselves out of power. That is what it's all about. The Lord is lining them up to take them out of power. And it's going to be such a glorious thing to be seeing these people fret themselves, even though, you know, a lot of you know the prophets we don't know exactly how the times will go we know a lot of us gonna be taken you know to individual camps and different things like that tortured or whatever the case may be but some of us may be in the in the midst of this stuff you know what i'm saying but this the plagues and all this stuff this is not for us this is the test for us but this is the evils that is coming to those who are not fearing yahweh Shah and not walking within his ways you know this is for all of you you people out there man that's what this is for it is, it is not for the prophets of the Lord. It's not for us at all. You know? Uh, verse verse 7, it says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret, un, his secret unto his servants, the prophet. His secret. You know? What's, the, what's one of the biggest untold mysteries that nobody's really looking into? Who are the real Jews? Who are the real Israelites? Who really are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? What is their real national? What is their real origin? Because it can't just come from some Edomites just wanting to make up names for us and us being named after Edomites, but then you say we're from this place or from that place, man. You know? Those are the are, are some of the real mysteries, digging into this real history. Who Esau Edom is. That's a part of the secret because it's the truth is the secret, the truth, because the truth unveils so much. So it's not just one secret, but it is the secret that unlocks all the other uh, uh, mysteries. You know, the truth is the secret. The hidden agenda of them is the secret. Who they truly are is the secret. The devil, the devil that the Bible speaks of all of these different things. These are the secrets, man. And he revealed them unto us, which is a very special thing. And especially with us being in this time, we can't be more grateful than to be uh, in, in, on the right side of the Lord, man. Knowing what's coming to this place, knowing the signs of the times, knowing not to panic because this is not for us. <coughs> knowing not to panic because the Lord got us as long as we hold, hold this faith firm. You know, we're, we're in a privileged position, you know, a very privileged position, man. Right. Um, and the verse eight it says, the Lord have roared, who will not fear? The Lord power have spoken, who can but prophesy? <laughs> so who can who can who can speak the things into existence before they happen better than the Lord? The Lord is the creator. He does these things, man. So all of these things that's happening now are all recorded within the scripture. Are you, people, somebody want to be simple? So you're going to say, Where, where's, where's Corona in the Bible? Where's this? No, but the plagues that are coming, the things that, the things that are being unveiled now, these are the things in which the Lord have revealed unto us as being his prophets that are his secrets that we release unto the world week in and week out through our individual shows and through us camping out there on the highways and byways telling you, what time it is man that's what this thing is all about and that's what it all boils down to the deep dark mysteries of the lord being unveiled and the lord unleashing his wrath upon the earth and us lord willing being delivered as a part of his elect man you know that's what this is all about you know so 
the world got a, got another thing coming to them, man. All of this living in La La Land and uh, 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 ignorance is bliss, that's going out the window, man. You better know something, man. You know, you better know something, you know. So, uh, you know, with that, you know, I hope this uh, segment was edifying. And I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles in the Elders Great Millstone. And Shalom to like out there doing this work of faith and living with love and true sincerity. Shalom.